me everything. I got the dice. I've brought you his dice. I knew you'd do it. Thanks. This is great. I'll bring it to him. Keep your fingers crossed for me. Yeah. A even even if he figures out the plan, at least he should be vaguely flattered about what you did. <sighs> Ill. Prob objective? Tell your uncle how things went with... No, I haven't done that. I mean... Uh, I mean, if he figures it out, he'll think we're loonies. He'll think, why don't you just walk up to me and say, do you want to get the dance? I'd have said, yeah. No, no. She's got to play hard to get. She's got to... Play. Am I going the wrong way? I'd say it was a safe bet. I'm going the wrong way. I don't think there's a bathhouse here in Skellet, so I need to find a bucket to clean myself up. Everyone is Is that what you call an honourable profession? Even the horses are more fragrant than you. Honest work doesn't stink, you good for nothing. Perhaps not, but you stink to high heaven. And tell me, what can a peasant like you know of God? I know what the priest told me, and what do you know? And what if the priest lies? What if the scriptures say something different? How would you know when you can only listen to what you're told like a sheep? It's enough for ordinary people to listen, and they're fine. But you and your ilk make only trouble. Someone ought to put paid to you, and we'd have peace at last. Mm. Like I say, you're like a wretched sheep that will go where it's told, even to the slaughter. And of God and the world, you know nothing. When has reading ever filled anyone's belly, eh? I feed a whole family with these two hands, while yours are only good for pulling your own cock. And tell me, what can a peasant like you know of God? I know what the priest are these told two going to start? And what do you know? Fighting, and what you if think? the priest lies? What if the scriptures say something different? How would you know when you can only listen to what you're told like a sheep? It's enough for ordinary people to listen, and they're fine. But you and your ilk make only trouble. Are you Someone ought to put paid to you, two and we'd have peace at last. start smacking each like other. I, I just say, stand here you're like a wretched sheep that will go where it's told, even to the slaughter. And of God and the world, you know nothing. Where has reading ever filled anyone's belly? Okay, eh? that was a not I my a business kind of hands, walk past, While yours wasn't are only it? good for pulling your own cock. What are you two quarrelling about here, for the love of God? This pipsqueak here claims studying is as hard a job as working in the stables. I most certainly did not, because study is of course much harder work than mucking out a bit of horse manure. See? That's what I'm talking about, and yet it's as clear as day. Hang on, what's as clear as day? That study is as hard as mucking out stables, if not harder. A man who doesn't work with his hands is an idler, and a good-for-nothing. Am I wrong? Yes, you're wrong. You're both wrong. You're both right. The scholar is right. The Eh, where's that? You're both idiots option. Manual labour is hard, but so is, you know, mental labour. There are times when manual labour is even more relaxing, but it's different. Right now, I think these two are not, because I'm about to clip them both round the ears if I've got any choice. I'd like to ask you a couple of questions before answering. Okay. Mm. You're a scholar. What are you doing in Scalitz? I'm on my way to Sassar with letters. This ingrate here is stabling my horse overnight before I continue my journey. Uh... What does your work involve, student? I'm no student, but a baccalaureus. Having mm. completed the trivium of the Faculty of Liberal Arts in the University of Prague, grammar, rhetoric, and dialectics are my work. While this yokel wouldn't be capable even of learning Latin, father arranged that I will serve as a teacher in Kuttenberg for two years before returning to the university to attend the quadrivium. To teach and be taught, that is real work. Yeah, you're annoying. I kind of see why this other guy's wanting to punch you, because I'm kind of wanting to punch you right now. You serve Sir Radzik at the castle, don't you, Master Groom? 
Aye, and Sir Radzig is very pleased with my work. I can be rightly proud of what I do, and I bring home a nice wage, too. The children are fed, and the wife can buy herself a nice scarf from time to time. I'm satisfied with my lot. How many people can say that? Okay, so it's still not really to the point, is it? What's so hard about your job, Master Groom? That's real work. Not like this parasite here does. On my feet from dawn till dusk, feeding, mucking out, grooming. By evening, I'm dead on my feet. I'm doing something real, see? Something that makes sense. Horses are needed for work, for the lords, for riding out, even in times of war. And someone has to care for those horses. All this good for nothing can do is mouth off. But he'd never be able to do a real job. Yeah, no, it's. Uh, I like the groom more than I like the scholar, but. That's all I need to know. Honestly. They're both wrong. They're not both right. We need learning to progress, but we do need people to do, you know, manual labour. We need both. You're both idiots. You're both right, but both not idiots. one of you has a grain of sense. Work is work, that. whether it's done with your hands or your heart. Ah, rhetoric worthy of Socrates himself, and out of the mouth of a woman. I bow to you, good maiden. The professors of Prague could learn a thing or two from you. Are you saying this good for okay, nothing I'm liking here, him who has more to now. beg for his beer at the tavern, is my equal? But to hell with it. I won't argue. Well, it's amazing how quickly I went from disliking him and liking you to liking him a lot and really hoping you accidentally fall into the river there. If I sick you on him, just... Will that get me in a lot of trouble? What happens if we do it from far enough away? Could you just, I don't know, sick him a little into the stream? Okay, uh, right. Let's go and see fa- oh, okay. Let's go and see father, but before we do, clean up a little. I'm wondering if we should feed you. The big problem is the meat I got- oh god, that's completely gone now. It's gone. I don't think you're going to want to eat that. And the other meat I've got, well, it's dog meat, and that just seems wrong. Well, for some very, very obvious reasons. Oh, God. Is that a guard? That's a guard. What is going on? Stealing the king's silver is a capital crime. What? You get the pie for that. Why do you keep going on about it? What's it got to do with me? I keep telling you, I don't know nothing about any silver. I'm a miller. Flour is what I know about. If someone's stealing silver from the mines, why don't you talk to the miller? You know what? There's a, there's a problem. Quickly, wash your face, wash your face, wash your face. It's our job to ask everyone who lives nearby if they saw anything suspicious. Then good luck with that. Because in case you haven't noticed, everyone around here lives near the mines. Aye, but some live closer than others. And then there's also the fact that... How to put it? We're asking you because... You're the miller. Well, you're a miller, right? Oh, I see. Since I'm a miller, I must be a crook. Is that it? No, but, but yeah. you know what they say. Aye. They say you lot can hardly find your own asses. Never mind a thief. That's You're keeping me from my work, young not fellas. Helping. So if we're done here, farewell and good luck. All right, Miller. If you should happen to hear anything, let us know. Uh, can I talk to them? No, I talk to Father. All right. The nails aren't done. Uh, that doesn't seem like the most important thing right now, but. I went for those nails, but the blacksmith is with Sir Radzik today. All right, leave it till tomorrow then. No hurry. Right now, I need something else. Quick. What's up? The guards were here asking around. They said someone's been stealing silver from the mines. Can you go and tell Stebor? He went to check the fish trap below the bridge. Okay, uh, why does Stebor need to know? Why? What has Stebor got to do with stolen silver? Uh, uh, look, just talk oh, to him God. about it, all right? Really? Yeah. 
But I'm asking you, Father. Don't tell me you don't trust your own daughter. For heaven's sake, Teresa. I said talk to Stebor about it, so talk to Stebor. And hurry. Yeah, don't you get snippy with me. You've got us in trouble and you're being snippy with me. Don't you be being snippy with me. All right, one Stebor. He's down towards the... Where the hell are we? Right, we've got to... I've got to cross the river. And... Was it heading this direction? Okay. No, that's the actual... That's the actual... Mine, it's... That is there. He... It, there's... Right, it's the opposite way. It's the opposite way. He's going to be somewhere in this direction. There's the bridge. Uh, did I see him? The g yes! Pa sent me. The guards were here asking about Silver going missing from the mines. Oh shit. Oh shit. All right. All right. Listen, Tess, I need your help. Let me guess. No, yeah, tell me everything first. Not so fast. First, tell me what the hell is going on. All right, look, how can I put it? You stole silver. Spit it out, otherwise you're on your own. All right, Pa came up with a nice little job. It's quite easy to sneak silver ore out of the mines and he found this wealthy fella who offered to buy it, so well, it does lead back to us. The missing silver is ours. Merciful oh. God! I need your help, Teresa. Huh? It's too risky. No! Sweet Jesus. You fellas haven't the sense you were born with. But family is family. Thanks, Tess. I'm sorry to drag you into it, but I can't manage it on my own. Where did you hide it? That's the thing. It's at the bottom of a flooded shaft. Samuel was working there before. You dragged Samuel into it too? No, no. Samuel knows nothing about it. So why don't you just go and get it? I don't know how to get to it. For heaven's sake, Stebor. Do you know where it is or not? Yes, but you see, when I was carrying it out, they stopped me. I was standing on this wooden walkway and I dropped it over the edge so they wouldn't catch me with it. And now I don't know how to get to it. All I know is it made a splash when it fell. And how are we supposed to find it? Go crawling through the whole mine? No, I've got an idea. Samuel knows that area. He he'll know how to get to the shaft. Oh no, Stebor, forget it. You're not going to drag Samuel into your dangerous games. Christ, no. What do you take me for? All he has to do is draw a map, and we'll do the rest. I've got a question. Are you sure about the... Sh we'll do it without the map? I'm tempted to do it without even... Wait, I want to ask you something. How did you get mixed up in this? Not long ago, I saw Pa hauling a sack of silver ore. I kept asking about it, and in the end, he had to tell me what was going on. God almighty, the king's silver? If you have to steal, couldn't you take something that wouldn't cost you your lives as well as your souls? Around here? Like what? Cabbages? <sighs> Why are you doing it? You're not going to mint your own coin, surely? Of course not. We just sell it to someone, but Pa deals with that. I don't know much about it. Why are you helping him? Well, he always gives me some of the money he makes from it. Money won't be much use to either of you on the pyre. Right. Where do you take the silver? Pa takes care of that. Someone comes to pick it up. Who does? Some slimy kind of fella. I don't know what his name is. He serves some lord, but I don't even think Pa knows who that is. Oh, my God. That's all I want to know God. Are you sure it's the same shaft where Samuel was working? Definitely. There's no other flooded shaft in the mine. Remember when everyone was talking about how they hit a spring and had to abandon it? All right, I'll get you the map. We'll do it without... I'm so tempted to do this without the map. I don't want to bring anyone else into this. Can we do it without the map? Stebor, we don't have to get Samuel involved. Let's just find it without a map. 
Without a map, we'd just end up getting lost in the dark. Come on, you don't have to tell Samuel what it's for. <sighs> uh, we'll just get lost wandering around in the dark. We're going to get lost wandering around in the dark anyway. Oh, fine. I suppose you're right. I don't like it much. But all right, I'll go to Sammy. Have you got something I can give him to draw it with? Here, give him this. I try to get it from him without giving the game away. Otherwise, Pa will have a fit if he finds out. I'll do what I can. Where is Sammy now? Where do you think? I saw him heading for the fish pond, as usual, to avoid work. Once you have it, come and meet me at Wenceslas Corridor on the hill. I'll be waiting there. Brilliant. Br Find out from Samuel the route the flooded mine shaft. Before we do that, let's just go and check inside and see if we've got any more meat for Tinker, because... I'm not... Oh, do I only have to feed you once a day? Do I only have to feed you once a day? Probably only have to feed you once a day, don't I? Um, but let's just check to see if there is any more meat stored here that could be... No, I may need to go... I may need to go to town and buy some meat for you. Yes, I may. All right, where do we have to go? Oh, he's all the way up there. Oh. All right, you know what? Let's go through town anyway and see about finding some vendor that has meat. Probably don't want to buy it now, otherwise it'll have gone off. But at least I'll know I can get you some more food, right? Well, I've not found anywhere selling meat, but I did find somewhere selling rabbit. Which is it's meat, and hopefully will be good enough for Tinker. God's blessings. What are you actually selling? Are you selling anything useful? Now, you've got a little bit of money, though. I don't actually have anything to buy. Oh, I probably should eat some food myself. Now that I'm... Oh God. Excuse me, excuse me, excuse me. Um, let's go with... The ch no, the bread. Uh, 80. How much does the cheese give? 10. Let's go. With both. Let's keep my energy levels up, or at least my nourishment levels up. I actually think the cheese might. He had it in Prague and he said it was delicious. All right, so I'll try it. And if he doesn't like it, I'll lock him in the hen coop. So he'll have a proper appetite next time. That'll ruffle his feathers for him. <laughs> Maybe you should have done that a long time ago. You're right there. Oh, hi. Sorry, I was just. I'm just. Uh. Yeah, I was being nosy. What's new? Yeah. Any news, Maruna? Well, there's a peculiar fellow standing by the potters on the outskirts, selling strange trinkets, relics and the like, and he's got a peculiar talk to go with it. Peculiar in what way? Well, I went to see what he was selling and greeted him politely, and he started on about how I'm a pretty girl and what have you. What's so strange about that? Fellas are always talking to girls that way if they don't wear a wife's scarf. Ah, but that's not all. He started on about how we're different from one another, men and women like, and in a vulgar way too. Uh... So what did he say was the difference between men and women? He said a woman's body is the opposite of a man's, that they've got their, you know, outside, and ours is inside so and that it's because men have more heat inside their bodies and that pushes their things out but we're colder and so we've got it inside do you think it's true what he says uh, no that's total horse manure it sounds like a lot of nonsense to me maybe he was just trying to seduce you oh we've talked like that well you know what asses men can be. <laughs> then he's an even bigger madman than I took him for. I'd rather not say anything on the subject. Take care of yourself, Marina. Is that the guy I... There was, there was a guy that was selling... I let him heal me. It wasn't that guy, was it? 
Is it is it actually worth talking to him? God's blessings. Talking to people? What's new with you, Antonia? Ah, uh, my husband keeps complaining about a cough and a running nose. With all the moaning he does, you'd think you ought to call the gravedigger. And then, oh. in the evening, he ups and off to the tavern. Men. They get a tickle in the throat and they think they're dying. But put a tank at a veil in front of them, all of a sudden, they're right as rain. Yeah, I just... Maybe take it a little seriously, just, just in case. You know. <sighs> Got a bad feeling about that. Good day, Teresa. Uh, yeah, good day. Thank you. Maybe I should talk to to. The Lord Jesus Himself commanded you to do no, so. Yeah, yeah, it's, 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 uh, oh, what, can I not talk to? You? Oh, I can. Here, have more money. Just, just. I'll give you something. Wait. A few groschen will do. Can I just give it you in bulk? It would. Here you are. At least you can get yourself a bite. You know to what? Eat. You could. Here's, oh, thanks a here's an idea. Here's, God sees your good deed and will watch over here's a, you. Here's a great idea, right? Uh, wander around the hillside picking up nettles and flowers and stuff and sell them in there. You won't make a huge amount of money, but you'll make enough money to eat. You will. Honestly. And you'll smell pretty good as well. I'm actually surprised more people don't wander around picking flowers. It's remarkably well, therapeutic and, as I've pointed out, pretty damned rewarding. Let's focus on finding the... Uh, right, I've just come out of here. I, I need to, when I come to the T-junction, just keep going, then past the small building, I think. Am I? Am I heading in the right direction? I, I don't... I don't... I'm here. No, no where, where did I... I came out here. I turned here. No, oh, actually, no, I need... Yes, I need to go this way. I need to go this way. I was looking at the wrong... Gate. Yes, I was. So we've got a bridge down there. That could be a pot. Why do I have a sneaking suspicion that you come closer are the person and examine the miraculous remedy from the Moorish lands? Yeah. That expel all wounds, heals ulcers, and Kills fleas. Oh, kills fl Two parts fleas, does it? Really? Oh. Yes. <sighs> I don't know you, unless my memory deceives me. Where are you from, and what are you doing here? Have you not noticed? I'm saving lives. I came from far away, Sasau, to avert great misfortune. My God. What misfortune? All oh, the misfortune of the world, my dear. For misfortune walks not over mountains, but over men. I have artifacts that will avert mine cave-ins. Swarms of locusts, bloody rain, and flaming swords. Not to mention, say, unhappy love, perhaps. Do they really work? Uh, have you ever seen bloody rain? No. No, I haven't. There, you see. I have remedies for all woes and an answer for everything. Maybe that kind of talk might invoke those woes. Have you ever heard it said that no one can be a prophet in his own land? Um, yes. What's that got to do with anything? Well, here am I, far from my own land. Yeah, that made no sense. Absolutely no sense. What's all this stuff you're selling? Yes, good question. What are these peculiar goods you're selling here? Things that bring good luck. Or bad, if that's what's needed. What are you after? No, wait, don't tell me. I, I know just what your heart desires. I have here an amulet that will ensure your safety and your whole families forever. Girls like you are always keen to have one. Really? 
An amulet can do that. Girls Most like assuredly. Me. Ah, but unfortunately, I, I just sold the last one. However, I do have something even better. What is it? A map. Have you heard of the Scarlet's treasure? Scarlet's treasure? No. My dear child, you ought to ask your parents about it. Everyone knows about the Scarlet's treasure. But no one knows that I have a map to it. Then why don't you dig it up yourself? <laughs> Me? A spiritual man? <laughs> Please. I have no interest in worldly wealth. But you can have it for only a few groschen. <sighs> You're not interested in worldly wealth except the worldly wealth that happens to be in my purse, correct? Oh, it's... <sighs> How much? I might. I'll think about it. I don't believe it, but I kind of want to see. It's like I have this morbid curiosity. A need to know. If it leads to treasure, as you say, how could I refuse? Can... Oh. I've got money. I'll just guess I can go and win some more at the... Uh, I, I need to know. I need... Satisfied? To know. Well, a little more and we'll call it a deal. Mm, how much? Mm, Here you have it. Happy hunting. Yeah. Uh, out of curiosity, what else do you have? Oh, look. Mint. Um, wolf fangs. No, I think not. <coughs> yeah. Oh, can I even read? That's a really... Good. Map to Scallet's treasure. Let's have a look. Uh, we got a broken tree. It? It... Yeah. Hear ye, hear okay. ye. Relics Scallet's is over there, kind. across the river. Blessed Pond. By the Pope himself. Okay, just, you know what? To ward off. Go. It's not. Like, right around here, is it? Because there, there is a bridge right here. This is, this is, um, here, right? Oh, no, it's going to be more over here, isn't it? Probably, because there we got scallops. I'm, I'm here. Actually, I need to go back up there, don't I? Um, yes, I probably do. But, but, just looking at the treasure map again there is a, a like a, a a pond all by itself and then another little well not quite a pond all right let's uh i think it's is it that there's the there's a single sort of isolated pond and there's something that kind of goes around but it, it didn't quite yeah, I think I think it's sort of around here or something. There's there should be a ball and tree, but it looks like the the river's supposed to go up here. Honestly, probably a bit of a waste of money. Yes, probably a waste of money. But hey, okay. So I am actually here. So, I need to go... Actually, no. I need to go that way. Right, yes. So, that is probably connected to the pond. Okay. Who are you guys? This is... God save you, Tess. Uh, yeah, um, thank you. Uh, right. God almighty, has something happened to you? Did someone steal your fancy clothes? What? What do you... What fancy clothes? What? Am I supposed to have fancy clothes? Um, yeah, I'm just, um... Yeah, just, just... So, are they biting? Well, so far, no. Checking up, are you? there's still plenty of time before evening. Um, you know, ooh, yeah. Why aren't you at work? I was given some time off. Yeah. Time off? How come? 
I smashed my foot with the pickaxe. What? Harry, mother of God. Are you all right? I'm fine. It was just a pretense. I needed a break. Really, Sammy? Oh, my God. One day you'll really get hurt, and then no one will believe you. Okay, um, yeah, anyway. Ooh, uh, just... Sammy, I need something from you. Oh, Tess, I just got ready for fishing. Don't worry. You don't have to go anywhere. Remember that mine shaft where you used to work before it got flooded? Yeah, it was a deep one. We went down that morning, and we were up to our knees in water. Master Fafar said that always happens when you dig deeper than the drainage at it. We dug a well to slow it down, but even that wasn't enough. Do you think you could draw me a map of the way there? Why? What on earth would you want that for? Eh, don't ask. Um, family problem, just trust me. Stebor dropped something there. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah, 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 yeah. Stebor dropped something there. Drop something? What? Oh, I don't... Never mind. You really don't want no, to know. No, you definitely don't want to know. For Christ's sake, what the hell are you mixed up in now? No. Oh, well, whatever. Show me that, I'll draw you a map. Don't. Just, just, just... I'll stay here a while, go straight to... No, no, we better get this thing sorted. Thanks. I'll run to him with it right away. Yes, we definitely need to get this... Woo. I can definitely... Well, have you got it? Just checking I wasn't followed. Oh, I'm worried I've been followed. Oh, my God. I got that map from Samuel. What now? Great! Well, first, we've got to get into the mine. Oh. That fool Nimoy is keeping watch. It'd be best if we split up. I'll get rid of him, and you can sneak in. <laughs> Just... I want to ask you something. Uh, why don't you go? Where's the silver? Who... Who caught you? And how did you get out of it? The miners, of course. I told him I was looking for Samuel, but I still got a hard time from the guards for being there at all. Right, yeah. Tell me again where I can find that sack. It's somewhere in that flooded shaft. It's a good thing I was on that walkway when they stopped me, otherwise I'd have had nowhere to drop it. All right. Only now, you have to get down Why there. me? Why not you? Just... Why do I have to go inside? Why don't you do it? Well... Remember when we used to play hide and seek? Yeah. You could never uh, find I'm better me. at this. And you always found me immediately, because I was useless at hiding. Mm. Yeah. You always had something sticking out. Exactly. You're right. Best if I do it. Mm. For sure. There won't be many people inside now. Most of the lads will be outside eating. But even so, watch out. Right. Yeah, sure. That's all. Yeah. Let's do this. All right. Let's get it over with then. Once I get rid of him, you sneak inside past the bushes and take a torch with you. It's as black as pitch in there. Just make sure no one sees you though. Right. Good luck, Tess. Where's the torches? Where are the torches? Just. Where are the torches? Hey, Nimoy, you rogue. Come here a minute. Can I leave the dog here? What do you want, Miller's boy? Looking for that clumsy brother of Where's yours? the torches? What's he done now? I don't see any torches. I don't see any torches. I didn't really have time to sort of hang around. Oh. I've got a torch. Oh, did he give me a torch? That was actually kind of, yes. Brilliant. All right. Okay. Um, that's not the map. That is not the map. Map to the flooded shaft. Oh, God. I need to put the light on. I need to put the light on. Oh, God. Am I far enough or am I out of sight? I'm out of sight. Oh, my God. This is so stupid. Right. I came in there. I need to go, I need to keep going forward until I come to a ladder. And then I go up the ladder and I take the first on the right. First on the right, then it doesn't matter which way I go. I'll check it a little after that. Oh my God, it's so dark. It's so very dark. 
torch on for fear of Forward. Moving forward. It's not about the prancing, it's about the girls. When you take one for a whirl, you can have a good feel what she's got under her dress. <laughs> yeah, and then some fella might feel your teeth with his knuckles, you goat. Remember the blacksmith's son, Henry? That time when the butcher took his Bianca for a whirl? Ah, oh, don't take a proper dance if there ain't a okay. fool or two. And if you're afraid, just, stick to just, the just quickly check it again. Quickly check it again. Um, it was. I, 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 I needed to go past that little thing, and I just need to keep going in this direction, and I'll find a ladder. Yeah, ladder. I'll find a ladder. Luckily, these guys like to talk when in the dark, which is actually quite natural when you're with people. It's comforting. Slippers. All right. What's that? What is the? What is that? Bad foot potion. God, yes, yes, absolutely. Oh, the dog hasn't come with me, which is probably for the best, isn't it? Am I hearing somebody? You know what? I'm picking up the damn slippers. I'm gonna check to see if they're uh... okay. So I'm going to be going forward and then taking the first on the right. Forward, first on the right. Let's just check to see this. Slippers, are they less noisy than the than the lady slippers? It doesn't look like it does. Oh, take that off. Don't be taking your night gown on or your simple surcoat. Slippers. Oh, they're men's slippers. Oh, so there's no point actually having them. Apart from I could sell them. Doesn't that make me a thief? Apparently not. All right. Okay. Let's keep on going. I know that I'm trespassing. I'm very well aware of that. Thank you for reminding me. Just, oh my god, this is a long ladder. All right. <gasps> okay. Okay. This is not good. Oh, this is not good at all. Just keep going. I hope you don't run face first into him. I think he went the other way. What did he go that way? This is the way I want to go. Oh, Just go past him, 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 go past him. Maybe I should take that pad foot potion. How long does it last again? It lasts for 10 minutes. You know what? Right. Oh. So very dim. Okay, I'm putting the light on briefly just to double check that I'm not about to run off a cliff. I can see the floor just about. Just about. Please tell me I've not taken the wrong turn. Oh my god. Okay. Oh. Just. You know what? I'm taking the turn. 
torch out until I hear some noise. Right. This is where I can choose either way, and I go down and I just work back. I, I could do this. I can do this. I can do this. Before I do it, let's just turn. This is so very stupid. Oh, it's up. It's a ladder up. Okay. It's a ladder up. Oh, no, it's not. No, it's not. Oh. My, that's a hell of a drop. Better be careful. means use the bloody torch. Okay. Put the torch out and then use the ladder. Okay, 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 okay. Are there going to be people down here as well? You've got this. Yes, you've got this. I'm wearing a white bloody dress. I'm wearing a white dress. I'm sneaking around in the dark in a... Well, I don't know if it's a white dress, but definitely something white on my arms. All right. Okay. So now I just follow this until I come to a junction and turn left. Turn. I don't know why I'm sneaking. I don't know why I'm sneaking with a torch out. Isn't that it? It's just been a torch in that direction, is this? Yes, it is. Cave mushroom. That's good. You know what? Let's just take it. Let's take it. I don't know. I don't know. Oh my god. god. Old. But this must be the place Stebor was talking about. Now to find that wooden walkway. Could it be? Could it be here? No. Okay. Keep. All right. You know what? Let's just check. Right. Um. There's a little passage off to the side, and and it just uh, X marks the spot. Really does look like you keep going until. And then... I wouldn't want to get lost in here. No, nope, let's... Let's try not to do that. Keep going. Keep... So many... So many game mushrooms. So many... Just... 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 I just... I'm, I'm going to pick up one or two every now and again just to make myself feel calm. It helps. The walkway. The sack must be here somewhere. Okay. Yeah. Okay. There's a rope. Okay, there's a rope. No, he threw a. He th threw a sack over. He threw the sack down here. It's going to be a small one, I guess. Otherwise, it would have made... Okay. Can I get up there? No. What up? A... I'm not seeing. Ah! Okay. Of here. Oh my god. It's dark, it's dark, it's dark. It's still dark. It's not gonna get any less dark if you keep putting your torch away. I just. I just don't like walking around with a giant 
bloody sign over my head saying, hey, here I am, wandering around in the dark in a dress, picking mushrooms. I don't think anybody's going to believe that as an excuse. Yes, I really, really like mushrooms this much. Oh, my God.